Oh my God, it's Tim Higgins. Hey, Jay. Welcome to the Best of the Worst studio. Thanks. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, uh, Tim has been in a bunch of our stuff over the years. You were in the very first episode of Half in the Bag. Mm -hmm. uh, you are in our feature film, Space Cop. You just killed thousands of people! You're welcome. Which is now still available on Blu-ray. Uh, you were in Jack's uh, Pass Me a Beer videos. So there's t tons of things over the years, but you've never been on a Best of the Worst before. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, you know, we normally have a pretty good time when we do these, when we do the normal episodes anyway. That's mm -hmm. usually fun, but sometimes we do like the Wheel of the Worst. Those are kind of like questionable. The video that makes learning mad. <laughs> <laughs> The worst was when we did the Black Spine edition. What's what's that? Oh, it was this stupid idea that Mike had. He had like a dozen tapes that didn't have labels on them. So he, he put them up on a shelf and had this dumb red curtain and we had to pick them at random and they were all just, just awful. But luckily, we're just shooting a regular episode today. Welcome to the second Black Spine Edition! <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Well, oh, I can stop doing the voice. Now. <laughs> well, Tim, um, as Jay said, this is the Black Spine Edition, Volume 2. Um, over the years, we've been sent blank tapes, tapes with no label on them, and we've just been throwing them in bins. And finally, we have enough to do a proper Black Spine edition. Uh, we have 6,400 tapes, and we're gonna randomly select one today because that's what we're doing with our day when we should be at home with our loved ones celebrating Thanksgiving. I'm so sorry, everyone. There's always leftovers, you know. All right, Tim, you've got multiple shelves to pick from. Why don't you go ahead and just pick one tape? Okay. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Leap to the future. Girl Scout cookie sale troop training 2000. Tim, in case you've ever needed tips on how to sell your own Girl Scout cookies, this tape will be extremely useful. It seems like it wasn't rewound, so maybe they stopped it at the sweet spot. Oh. <laughs> it would be so cool to sing with her on stage. In, In the, the Girl Scouts, Scouts together, together, we change the world. Hey, look, Cassie, you've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha, Cassie. Is that supposed to be an email? It's a Word document. <laughs> <laughs> she said the Word document in the oh, email. Okay. It was like an attachment. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't be there. I, yeah, I, I, I know it's a holiday. Look, look, Mike said it was very important. Uh, I, you know, I, Grandma, look, Grandma will be around next year, don't worry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. All right. What's what's the emergency? Are uh, you off the fucking phone yet? Yeah, yeah. What, what what's going on? Is are we losing the, the business? What what's going on? What? what? No. You said I had to be here. Yeah, we're we're doing the Black Spine edition. What? You opened the door. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. Table manners, tots to teens. Well, that's appropriate considering it's Thanksgiving and you're not eating a turkey dinner. Come on! And the next is the fish course. So, the fish fork on the left and the fish knife on the right. What is it? Cut away that a here. is a, a royal child. Years of inbreeding. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Ah, they all look so I think they're like, like Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just going, what the fuck, Grandma? Mom, mom, she looks frightened. Is she so wants to get out of there. She can't stop moving. Butter plate. So we're still doing this, huh? 
Mm -hmm. We haven't given up on it yet. Look at all this. Look at all these possibilities. It's like a galaxy, like uh, endless possibilities. Is there life out there? I'm gonna pick this one. Chemo's fierce fighting, no holds barred, starring Chemo. Ah! Ground fighting from the guard. Good old Chemo. Stop moving it around. 38 minutes. <laughs> the best fighting. Ah! Let's train. Whoa! Whoa! Chemo! Oh my God! Whoa! <laughs> Fuck him up, Kimo! Is this supposed to be blue screen? <laughs> wow! Oh, he knocked his and oh, swept oh. it out. I just wanted an Whoa! autograph. Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I want he try go for. Choke my neck, make a left. I can't hold the hand. And here's how we do an airplane. No. Yay! 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 Airplane! Don't get too comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> you should never be comfortable. <laughs> this is supposed to be miserable. I did not trust me. You know, I mean, the whole thing was, it's yeah. like, we're not doing none of those things when it's, it's like, no, that's exactly what we're doing. And... So on this Black Spine edition, <laughs> we watched some random ass videotapes. What's, what puts you in charge? Your tuxedo? Uh, yes. He, he was the one that started talking. That's what puts him in charge. That's how it works. Fair enough. And our, our first tape was Leap to the Future Girl Scout Cookie Sale 2000 Troop Training. Pick me. I was in charge. It was definitely a leap to the future, but training for- Tim, I know you're new here, but you do not interrupt the host <laughs> before he has passed off the tape formally. The host picks one of the three victims to introduce the tape. We have a very, very rigid formula here. <laughs> oh, this is, there's, this is not fun and games. So, this is serious business. So Tim, would you please talk about Leap to the Future, Girl Scout Cookie Sale 2000 Troop Training? <laughs> well, no, you may take over. Definitely a leap to the future. <laughs> Cookie Sale Training, though, was lacking. No. There's a literal leap to the future. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look out, it's a wormhole! It's the Y2K virus! Oh my god! <laughs> I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. There yeah. was absolutely no cookie cookie training sale. There was don't go up to a car, don't go up to Don't go attack a car. Yeah. It was like, yeah, no approaching cars. Unless yeah. it's an, a, a, a regulator drive through. Drive through. Yes, yes. Oh, all the informative yeah. stuff was just a couple of really quick yeah. text screens. The rest of it was was bullshit. This is so cool. Look at me. I'm flying. It was some some director trying to show his style. I'm gonna make a science fiction blockbuster after this. <laughs> Let me show you what I can do. This was Christopher Nolan, actually. That's this was oh. yeah, yeah. Christopher Nolan directed this. Better hop aboard, Pilgrim, because Josie -si Do is jumping into the cookie sale of the century. Yee-haw! I think the one and only really important part of the video, you know, despite all the spectacle and the show and the glitz and the glamour, was the disclaimer. <laughs> this entire video is an asterisk saying, don't go in a stranger's house. <laughs> don't get kidnapped. Is We're she... not legally responsible. That happens because we warned you. Yeah. Is that a ghost? It's a, it's a ghost, Mike. It's a ghost. <laughs> so yeah, um... <laughs> this the... is going great. Mike? Yeah, uh, I love this black spine experiment. <laughs> and, and I, for one, am glad that we're giving this a second shot, despite the fact that the first one was a complete and utter <laughs> dismal failure. You know what they say? And what is the famous Albert Einstein quote? 
uh, insanity is is repeating the same oh, thing yeah. over and over again. <laughs> but, and but, expecting different results. And expecting different yes. results. Yeah. Yes. Um, but we have a, like a couple hundred tapes up there. There is gold in there. And them their hills. <laughs> and we're going to find it It's going to take us 27 Black Spine episodes to get to one entertaining <laughs> one, but it'll happen. Let us not forget, we discovered uh, Don Beveridge and pushed the Whopper button on the very first episode, and I've got that... I've got that ace up my sleeve. So we've got 30 more episodes. So basically, <laughs> we've already found the gem, and the other 100 tapes are just garbage that we're going to slowly plow through. The thing is, we don't know. We don't know unless we try. So, Rich, tell us all about... <laughs> what? Happy moments, we love. It's all love that will survive. In the Girl Scouts, together, we change the world. What? <laughs> That's not how computerators com work. Computron noises. Well, how did they... Okay, so it starts with these three uh, Girl Scouts in a, in a two-wall bedroom. Yeah, um, they just came in from doing something they fun. They were doing something fun, and then they came into the bedroom, and they have the, the classic iMac, the first iMac, right? The the one with the colored, the colored sides. Yeah, yeah, backs. And then how do they travel to the future? Well, how they does get, this happen? They get a magical email that comes through. Oh, yes. the email, yeah. And Melinda is like, open up the secret link. You'll get a special glimpse into some of the exciting things the future holds for girls of endless faith and love like you. You can see the cursor. Yeah. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> it's an old the only Mac. thing it needs is like a word that's spelled wrong with the red and <laughs> It's a Mac like Word document, yeah. like a, a notepad doc or whatever. Listen, if some that's something they don't teach you in this video. They tell you not to go up to like strangers' cars, but they don't say uh, if you get an email from someone inviting you into the future, maybe just close that out. <laughs> well, it's 2000. Well, it was just uh, scares, uh, 2000. You open up everything. It's <laughs> like, what the hell is that? It was just a word. What document. happened to my shit? <laughs> it's just a word document chat. Wow, it's beautiful. Did you notice their bed transformed into a future bed? Did I it? did not. Yeah, it, it, I it, noticed that yeah. the desk was a future. The desk, desk was like a like a Star Trek: The Next Generation like flat panel like. Yeah. Oh yeah. But then yeah. the bed, the bed, the old, they had an older bed, and then it was like a like a floating bed. It was like a sci-fi bed. I did not notice that. So they 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 went all out in this production. Well, you know, it's that kind of attention to detail that I expect from Christopher Nolan. <laughs> yeah. In his first production, yeah. You know, our troop goals this year are out of this world. We're planning a trip to space camp. Canoeing, ski trip, horseback riding, and other fun things. Some corporate-y kind of think think tank was like, oh God, we're we're turning the, the millennium into into two thousands. Girl Scouts in their little uniforms and doing their things yeah. and we need it's to gonna, update this. Yeah, it's gonna seem so antiquated in, in the two thousands. Let's make a video that says Girl Scouts are moving into the future. And then that's kind of like and there was no content. It was just like uh, like people were, have this perception that Girl Scouts just sell cookies, yeah. but we're gonna make a video where we yeah. show that they, they sell cookies. No, no, they use email. <laughs> they use email and they talk about computers and then they fly through space. <laughs> They, I just, they said it's like, we're gonna take a step on the moon, like, again. One small step for girls, one giant step for girl kind. But the moon that that girl stepped on did not look nice. <laughs> Although, to be fair, you don't have to wear any sort of, like, spacesuit when there you're on go. that moon, so. Maybe they got, like, a... They got a stop sign at one point. Nothing can stop us from taking it to the future and beyond. And that was in 2000, 2001. Yeah. Look Where how far they we've come now? since then. Yeah. Uh, so knows? the two important takeaways are, don't get kidnapped while selling our cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and Girl Scouts are cool. They're in the future. <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's literal nonsense. <laughs> they are flying at one point, and they're really flying. They go warp I mean, speed. We, yeah. And uh, without a spacesuit or a spaceship, I don't know how they survived, but they did it. Well, you're not in the Girl Scouts. It's, it's a badge you earn? Yeah, that's Surviving a badge you earn. Interstellar travel? <laughs> Look, in, in the future, outer space has air. In the year 2000. In the year 2000. That's what happens. Yes. What? What? What the fuck? Oh god, there's so many people in my room! What the hell? The end of the video uh, is, is uh, they, it cuts to the back to the bedroom. Yep. And then we realize that we're in a like live TV studio. Whoa! Yep. And then yep. the girls start rapping. It's the Girl Scouts, and we say, if you like a 
Do you think that's really her rapping? With the Girl Scouts. Uh-huh. Change the world. Come with me. Is that even, like, obviously the kids aren't rapping, but is is that actually Melinda rapping? I don't know. I'd have to analyze the voices. With All the, of them have the same voice. The computer. That, what? <laughs> they the sound, they sound different. <laughs> no, they don't. I think it's the same voice. Oh, maybe it's Melinda's. Oh, but it's... You can tell that the little girls, once they start rapping, yeah. it's like, you went through so many changes <laughs> on that trip to space. Of course we love to camp, bike, and swim. We take on the same vocations as boys. <laughs> I got a voice of a 22 year old. <laughs> they still have their future voices from when they grew up. They learned but how they to bring back. They still look like kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They learned how to bring back the embarrassing 90s in the 2000s somehow. <laughs> that was a badge they earned as well. <laughs> uh, uh, but Melinda is. And then, and then it cuts to credits, and then the post credit scene is M Melinda's like, I'm going to play my acoustic guitar while I have you trapped here. That's when we said, We're done. <laughs> yeah, we shut the tape off and threw it out a window. Yes, good. Aloha. Thank you, Black Spine Edition. <laughs> <laughs> we felt the need to escape. <laughs>We done with that, that? That's your decision. You're in charge. Uh, You're in charge. I am in charge. Does everyone agree that we're done? Is there anything else anybody You're wants? You're in charge. All right, fuck it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next thing yeah, we watched yeah. was Table Manners. Oh, boy. Tots to Teens. Oh, boy. <laughs> Now, I picked this tape, but I'm in charge, so Mikey, talk about this <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, table Manners, Tots to Teens, copyright 1993. Nancy Nelson. Who the fuck is that? Nancy Nelson apparently produced and or copyrighted this film, but... Is that a pseudonym for... What's her name? Marjorie? Marjabelle. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Table Manners class. Marjabelle! Marjabelle Stewart. <laughs> Marjabelle Stewart, uh, a um, uh, 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 Emily Post-esque character. Very uh, prim and proper. Prim and proper, old lady, old white lady. I will move into the table. Scotty will touch my legs, perfect. Down we go. And I tuck in one hand. And that's actually her husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little young for me, but. Uh, I, I know they must There's a tiny little redheaded boy <laughs> who Marjorie has always posed next to, and we, we, we assumed that might be her new husband. <laughs> as her old husband was too old, his body was too old. Well, we tried. came up with a, it's like get out, but yeah. instead of black people, you take their brains and put them into small children. Yeah. And then that's your new husband. And, uh, and yeah. I think it was Jack who said she loves the feel of a little tiny hand on her <laughs> uh, That was me. That was you? Yeah. That, oh, was, oh, that was the best one <laughs> Thank of the you. night. <laughs> I don't think it was recorded. No, <laughs> been like during. Oh yeah, huh? we have a microphone. We've been live streaming Mom. this whole night. No, we're just talking <laughs> the mind, the body of a four-year-old boy yes, with yes. the mind it's of a different. fifty. Oh, it's that makes so everything different. okay. Yeah, with the hand, yeah. oh. with the hand of a four-year-old boy right. gripping. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, though. Whoa. We've got to we've got to set up this whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen on the Phil Donahue Show, Today Show. The Vicki Lawrence Show and The Home Show. And written about in leading national publications like I taught Ricky Schroeder <laughs> how to properly eat. She, she worked with like famous people. There's a young Ricky Schroeder picture in it. Uh, many of the president's children's. And uh, now she's just taking it to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and then, extreme uh, table manners. Extreme table manners. Uh, table manners are dying arts and I must save them. I will produce a VHS tape at once. It seems like a very narrow audience. Like if you're going to stately dinners at the White House and you're a child of a diplomat, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can probably get that information somewhere else. Are you ready? She's not talking to any kids. Oh, no, she's all by herself. She's pretending to talk to kids. Oh, First, sad. let's look at the tablecloth. Lovely white damask. It's been pressed so that there's one little crease right in the middle. Can you see it? It's tent-like. She looks scared. <laughs> I think she made this video to feel better about herself. Okay, yeah. 
It's the equivalent of like, oh no, I can't be racist. I have black friends. This is oh, like, no. I can't be racist. I made a video where I teach small, uh, you know, a diverse uh, oh, group of oh, children no. how to do table manners. They won't be in the same shot as me. Right. And when we go to the fancy <laughs> restaurant Ooh, at the oh. end, they won't even be in the fucking room. <laughs> the fanciest of Davenport, Iowa. When we go to the, the, the fanciest supper club. But then when we go inside the country club, but white kids. they're nowhere to be seen, which makes me think, <laughs> They just couldn't get into the club. <laughs> uh, so Marjorie, what? Marjabel. 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 Why why can't you remember that I keep name? Marjorie. Marjorie. Yeah. I keep on Because I want to say a real name. That's Marjorie. not a real fucking name. <laughs> Marjabel indicates high society. I guess. It's like pinkies up, yeah. people. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so Marjabel Stewart. Uh, uh, invites a bunch of children into her home, ages ranging from four to... Tots to teens. Tots to teens. Tots to teens. Tots to teens. Uh, there's Although our, it's early teens. It's got to be like 13, 13 at the 14, oldest. Yeah. Yeah. She um, has her eyes on the tots. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to replace my late husband? Which one of you small children can I put my husband's brain into? Uh, but I think the best part of this video is clearly the cutaways of the kids. Fish knife on the right. What is it? <laughs> And because you will not be using all of the goblets. Look at him. <laughs> He's my favorite. With a. <laughs> these, these looks of disgust. <laughs> and they, they must have filmed those, those cutaways separately or right away. Like, hey. Uh, Marge, Marge Bell's like, you know, doing this thing. Like, look at her. Isn't she funny? Isn't this fun? Aren't you having fun? Okay, get out. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll I, I think like they spent yeah. five seconds on each kid. And we'll discover that now in editing. We can see if it's the same shots over and over. I think it probably is. There's a girl that wants to go to the bathroom. There's a girl that thinks this is all so lame that it's hilarious. We got hipster girl. Hipster, yeah. uh, we have weird fucking kid. <laughs> I don't even know what to call him. I call him Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> Alfred E. Newman. A young Alfred he's just, E. Newman. You know what? He's just happy to be anywhere. <laughs> that guy. Lazy Mom guy. wants me to be eaten well. <laughs> yeah. And it had a little book of instructions when it first came out. What is wrong with that girl? <laughs> it's like... Yeah, and there's. <laughs> <laughs> she picked that moment to have her first period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that precise moment. <laughs> and now it's captured on film forever. You think you could help me set the table? Wonderful. Why? <laughs> you, you just said what everything was. Now we're. Yeah, I gotta set it now. Now let's set the table. Yeah. And then they have all the kids around her. It's like, now where's this plate? Here it is. Now where's the goblet? None of them know what the fuck's stuff. going on. It's like, oh, there's my shrimp fork or seafood yeah. fork. Sorry, Marjabelle. <laughs> I would love to see the raw footage from this. With like the, when she asked the kids put the placements down themselves. Oh, yeah. I would love to see her getting enraged when they get something. <laughs> no! I clearly said that the fish knife goes on the rides. The rides! <laughs> now may I please have the salad fork. Who has the salad fork? What blew my mind, though, the salad fork? Yeah, at the end. Next to the plate, the last thing? Yeah, at the very end. There's some very, it's very old fashioned because then they also talk about the, uh, the, the finger dipping water. Tip, tip, tip. And a nice little touch is tip, tip. Mm, to the sides. Then bring up your napkin. Mm, how marvelous. This is like, like the 1800s uh, or something. Right, right. Blocked. I don't even know if like the most stately of stately dinners would even have that kind of old. Yeah. Who, who dips their fingers in a, like a? That's like disgusting. <laughs> this is an old woman trying to save proper manners, even though society's just gone beyond like dipping your fingers in a bowl. Yeah, but she's desperately trying to preserve it. I want to ask Marge about like like when you when you bite into something that's like fucking nasty, or it's like you get a piece of grizzle, or yeah. Well, how do you get that out? 
shoot. Oh, you you're... grin and bear it. You grin and bear it, it's so all the way. Close your eyes and think of England. You take your napkin from your lap, your best friend. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> and blot it out. Shake it down for the dog. <laughs> Replace said napkin. When they, when they finally went to their, like, the big, the big show at the end, there was that one little jerk whose <laughs> napkin was, like, oh, falling off. Oh, it was off, half hanging off. And yeah. he had, like, food on his mouth. Well, that was a kid that wasn't at her actual <laughs> That's uh, right. thing early on. He was on, just so. some, some, some little They needed to that... fill out those tables. They couldn't put the actual, like, Me? like the black kid or the Asian kid, so they had to fill it out with little white kids. The, the, they came out serving the food. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it's, like, in Davenport, Iowa, that all of the people know how lucky they are to have a Marjabel oh, yeah, in there. Yeah. So the, she has many classes for a season. And then the, <laughs> okay. the, the, the one group was true, lucky right? enough to be there for the filming. Yeah, okay, and maybe okay. it was a hodgepodge of different and, kids and through the, every group. Yeah, the minorities could not make it that day. The, Just the, coincidentally, you know none of them could. <laughs> They're busy. <laughs> They're busy. Keep them away! <laughs> yes, because there were definitely children that were not in the video that we watched. Yeah. At oh, yeah. that stately luncheon, mm-hmm. it's like, mmm, oh. <laughs> and take a bite. You see, you take a bite, take a bite. There are certain flowers that are simply delicious. Take a bite. And they were so all promised, kids. if they sat through this crazy old lady's shit, they were all promised chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit there, put the fucking napkin on your lap. They we'll go to McDonald's after we'll go to McDonald's after we're done with this shit. No, so that, many kids they went to showbiz. eating no. things and just being like... This is so if you have your first period at the dining table, <laughs> Take your napkin in your right hand and dab. Blot. <laughs> Blot. Blot. Tap, 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 tap. So, on to our final video of the night, which is Chemo's Fierce Fighting No Holds Barred. Uh, Jay, I can think of nobody better talk about this chemo video. Oh, uh, well, I mean, chemo is the man that hosts the video. Yes. And he is into jujitsu. Uh, he's very uh, passionate about jujitsu. And, you know, there's not a lot to make fun of in the video, really. No. It's, it's very straightforward. He just, uh, you know, he wants to teach you all these moves to, to combat somebody that's coming after you. Uh, using jujitsu. I mean, we see, you know, from the beginning, he's an intense fighting man. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very and much And then so. he backs up that intensity with his jujitsu. Yeah. Are, are they well executed moves? Uh, I mean, they looked like they were doing it properly, okay. as best as I could tell. Well, I was kind of surprised, because, you know, you think of martial arts, and it's fast action and blocks. But these these two men, they really, like, just, you know, slowed it down. Mm -hmm. You got this guy, and he's, he's, he's he's got the tats, and he's ripped. And it says Jesus on his belly. Yeah. And you know he's just gonna punch your fucking lights out. He's gonna pound you. He's gonna. Yeah. That he's guy is on pound. top of you. He's gonna give you a severe pounding. Yeah. He yeah. has you in a position that you do not want to find yourself in. Yeah. You don't want Absolutely. him near your belly. Let us not forget. This is a volume eight. And I'm sure the first couple of volumes were about punching and, and defending. And, you know, this particular volume was about a very specific thing, not letting someone attack you from above, you know? So he, he knows this is what I got to do. And, and, you know, he made the video. And it's very instructional for a very specific audience. And I think, I think it's a great video for that. If you're looking for a video about jujitsu holds, this is a perfect video. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I thought it looked kind of like gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> he don't come so much in my face. Come so much in his face. <laughs> Wait, what? He said it. He fucking said it. Yeah, he said it. Kimo comes too much. Kimo comes so much. Kimo was punching him, and he goes, You don't come so much in my face. It was his way of saying, Don't punch so close. So, so we 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 did, we did it. We talked about all of the videos. We did. Yes, we did. This is the first Black Spine episode that's actually entirely a Black Spine episode. For we better or worse. We did not have to pull out a ringer. So I think that's a positive sign. But the, the time has come yes. to, to figure out which video is the best of the worst. We're gonna go. We're gonna go wait, around wait. the table here. What? You should explain to Tim the criteria. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah. So, so the criteria is we, we select the our favorite tape of the of the night, and it's your your pick for any any reason. If you thought it was funny All because right. it was bad, or if you thought it was good because it was well made, whatever reason you want. Whatever is the most entertaining to you for there's, whatever reason. There's no rules. Yes. Twice. Yeah. yeah. I got it. So cool. Tim, which of these videos do you think is the best of the worst? I would have to go with Marge Bell <laughs> and her etiquette. Teachings of tots to teens, <laughs> <laughs> because wow, uh, it there were you, there had to be like just fuming outtakes of Marge Bell going <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I I, I loved it <laughs> the, the tots to all the those teens. children so much personality yes. amongst yes. each individual oh my child God. Yeah. each had their own story yeah and I would love to see those <laughs> <laughs> Mike your pick yeah Marge Bell <laughs> yeah uh, not not only for her her charm and and her her etiquette oh my God uh, but yeah impeccable like I always say. Uh, 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 certain tapes, you could come up with a backstory. They're boring tapes, but you come up with a funny backstory, or they're a funny tape, you know. But this one had both, and the the idea of that Marjorie and her deceased husband's soul has been transferred <laughs> to, to a five-year-old to a boy. <laughs> <laughs> to one of the tots. Who was conspicuously po posed Maybe that's the, from tots to teens. That's once they become teens, that's when they transplant the brain again. That's the window. <laughs> from tots to teens and yeah. teens to tots. The new husband will be you. <laughs> that's why they all look so fucking uncomfortable. We're going to take your body, Johnny. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do more. I, I, I you know, I, I started and then just nothing else was there. That's okay. Fair it enough. It was, it was empty. It's, it's very almost uh, being John Malkovich, but no. instead of a whole bunch of old people going into one body, it's yeah. just. Okay. So Jay, what is your pick? Uh, I also have to go with the table manners one. Just the fact that we spend so much time with her at this table, and we keep cutting to all these kids, and then when they cut to the interior of that country club and it's just a bunch of little white kids, like that's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. Just the fact that they abandoned half the kids from the video. It's terrible. I'm gonna make it unanimous then. All right. Yeah, I'm desperately trying to save the concept of table manners for a young generation. Yeah. This and losing battle that Marjabelle is on. It's Dipping and blotting. <laughs> yeah, it's, a losing, it's a losing battle. It's con it's constantly thinning out as to where this is applicable. Yeah. All you gotta know is from the outside in, done. Yeah. Salads first, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> salads first. <laughs> that was Fuck is this salads last shit? <laughs> you, should, you should you should make like a, a just a long rambling video rebuttal. To Major <laughs> talking about salad. Salad forks on the outside, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do it uh, uh, like in a seance. Yeah. <laughs> Bring up Marjabel. Yeah, we, Bring need, up that we need to get a Ouija board and contact Marjabel just so we can tell her how wrong she is about salads. Salads up first. <laughs> we, we, need, we need to like dress you up as got a horrible outfit and put you in like some kind of really dingy kitchen <laughs> for your response video where you're talking about the salad fork. Yes. <laughs> and everything is plastic and. Like Dixie paper plates. It's like, this 
This is a fucking salad fork. It's on the outside, Marge Bell. <laughs> you feel it? You eat it with your hands. <laughs> yeah. Now I need that fucking dipping bowl because all the sauce. <laughs> Using your fine silver and you still need to dip your fingers? The fuck? Yeah, that, that was a contradiction. That was a plot hole. <laughs> a big plot, plot hole. hole. Big plot hole. Uh, how are you getting fucking food on your fingers? What you so specific. Don't slurp. Sorry. Sorry. Don't yeah. slurp. She said, I just saw Marjabelle ate a whole bunch of romaine lettuce. <laughs> That's what killed her. That's what killed her. Uh, she ate a bunch of romaine lettuce and then just shit blood. She made a video, a how-to video about how to deal with uh, e. coli. We're <laughs> shitting blood. From tots to squats. <laughs> Dealing with E. coli. Dealing with E. coli. From tots to squats. <laughs> you might come across a batch of tater tots with E. coli on it. <laughs> tots to squats. That's why they ate the lettuce last. So hey, the there you go. go. <laughs> oh, it's go now. You'd have to awkwardly excuse yourself from the dinner halfway through, yeah. <laughs> All right, we figured it out. It's at the end. All right, it doesn't look like Mike's anywhere in the building. Good. Let's make sure we never have to film another Black Spine episode ever again. Ha, ha, ha.